And there's the view of uh, the HTV-6, the Kanatori, uh, which is the Japanese word for white stork, as uh, the International Space Station and the HTV-6 cargo craft fly 250 miles over Sudan, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. And uh, the robotics officer here in Mission Control reports uh, that uh, the arm is now in motion toward the grapple fixture under the control of NASA Space Station Commander Shane Kimbrough. Excellent view from the end effector camera. Three meters now. And capture is confirmed. Capture confirmed at 4.37 a.m. Central Time, 5.37 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and HTV-6 flew 250 miles over southern Chile. Where we are at the moment is uh, the HTV-6 uh, has been uh, maneuvered by robotic ground controllers here at Mission Control in Houston to a pre-installed position just a few feet away from the uh, nadir or Earth-facing port of the Harmony module of the International Space Station. Uh, the uh, robotic operations have been running well ahead of schedule throughout uh, the whole morning time frame, as uh, did the rendezvous with the HTV-6 uh, having been captured some 23 minutes ahead of schedule. Mission Control Houston, uh, the robotics officer here in Mission Control, continues uh, the very delicate task of uh, maneuvering uh, the HTV into an alignment position. You're looking at this view from uh, his console uh, through a centerline berthing camera system uh, to show the alignment uh, of uh, the common berthing mechanism uh, surfaces between the HTV and the nadir or Earth-facing port of the Harmony module of the International Space Station. And a good view of uh, the common berthing mechanism that uh, the HTV is about uh, to be latched to. Everything uh, proceeding uh, on track, slowly but surely. This is always uh, a very laborious procedure. Second stage capture confirmed by the mechanical systems officer at 7.57 a.m. Central Time, 8.57 a.m. Eastern Time. The HTV now is hard mated to the International Space Station. Second stage capture confirmed uh, as the International Space Station flew 250 miles over southern Bolivia a little more than three hours after it was captured, grappled uh, by uh, Shane Kimbrough and Toma Pesquet over southern Chile uh, to complete its four-day journey following its launch from the Tanegashima Space Center in southern Japan. So the HTV is now bolted in place where it will remain on the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module for the next six weeks.